Hello and welcome to another blog highlight video. I'm Isaiah Hanko with Cheeky Scientist. This week's blog is all about negotiation, which is really important right now because the hiring market is very high. So you might be negotiating two, three job offers at the same time. If you're not, this article will help you so that you can start getting multiple job offers instead of just going after one job lead at a time. What's the article title? Three negotiation strategies PhDs don't know about but need to start using during interviews. The first one, actually talk about what the employer wants, not just what you want. This is so important. You need the employer agreeing with you, saying, that's right, this is exactly what I was hoping to hear. Finally, someone who cares about the company, not just about themselves and how much they're gonna be making. Focus on your audience, okay? It's a key to negotiating, it's win-win. You're providing value, they're giving value. Don't just seem right away like you're all in it for yourself. Of course, try to increase your salary, but this article is gonna show you how to come across as someone who wants to collaborate, someone who wants to push the company forward and strive towards a, a larger purpose, not somebody who's just in it for themselves. Number two, make room for open-ended questions. When you get your first offer, don't come back with a counter offer. If they give you a verbal offer, don't accept it. Instead, ask open-ended questions, such as, the numbers are pretty good, is there anything we can do to increase them? Uh, that's great, I really appreciate the offer. The numbers don't look quite right. Is there anything more we can do in terms of salary? They say no, I understand, but at this point, is there anything more we can do in lieu of salary? Perhaps a, a signing bonus or a relocation allowance? Open-ended questions, right, expose how much money or value is actually on the table. You have no idea what they've been authorized to offer. You have no idea how high of a salary they can, they can offer you overall. Most hiring managers, recruiters, they're given an upper limit of a number, and guess what? They're not starting with that upper limit. They, they could have $110,000 a year to give you, or euros or pounds, yen, etc. right? They could be offering, they could have that authority. But, right, it makes them look good to their, to their bosses if they're able to get you on board for $80,000 or for $90,000. Okay, so a great way to expose how much more value is on the table or to inch it up without giving a counter offer is to ask an open-ended question. Is there anything more you can do in terms of salary? We've seen this question in our association get salary increases of five to $10,000 instantly or after a few emails, right? An email saying, well, let me go ask the supervisor, let me go ask the head of the department, they come back, we can increase it $5,000 just because you asked an open-ended question. Lots of great insights are in this article. Make sure you read it. As always, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.